business continuity of your organization is built well in advance of you actually needing to execute that plan and that process. From the things that are happening across the world now to many other examples throughout history, if your business or sections, components of your business, of your organization, need to continue operating and functioning even when you cannot get to your headquarters or your office or your site, it is important to think this through from power to internet to communications to security to safety to documentation to data to so many different layers that need to be considered as you're building that plan out and build it in times of peace and test it at least once a year and have simulations and keep improving the playbook and make sure that all folks who need to be part of that plan have not only the updated playbook on what to do and how to do it, but that they keep it in a safe, secure place in a secure environment and that they're actually trained. Where does the executive team meet if they can't come to the building, to the office, to your campus? Where do they go? Who calls home? What's the chain of command? What's the chain of communication? What mediums do you use if your organizational email is not available? If you have no power and you can't access your primary, let's say, data centers that are on your site, how do you get to your data, your services, your functions, your applications somewhere else? So a lot of it depends on technology and tools and resources and processes, but it's beyond that. Proper business continuity and disaster recovery plans go well beyond technology, tools, resources, and policies and procedures. They need to involve and include people at all the appropriate levels from safety, security, electrical, technology, governance, executive leadership team, and so forth. And everybody needs to know what their role is. Build those plans, tweak them, improve them, run simulations and tests in times of peace. Because when the panic hits, people forget and people do exactly that. They panic. So make sure your business continuity plans are something you're working on and are investing the proper resources and tools and time into. Have a wonderful day. I wish you all the best. As always, if this is the first video you see, please consider subscribing and sharing it with your friends and colleagues. And most importantly, leave your thoughts below this video on the topic I just covered. Have a wonderful day.